Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to kick a student out of your classroom. You might be thinking, why on earth would I want to kick my student out? Well, usually when you want to kick a student out of the classroom is because of tech issues. For me personally, the tech issue that I've had to kick a student out for is when she wasn't able to see me. And it's always this one student, there's something with her device or her internet, because it only happens to her. It hasn't happened recently, luckily, but she'll just randomly during class say, teacher, I can't see you. She can see everything else, she just can't see me. And she can't explain what she sees. She just says, I can't see you. And as we know with our young students, especially when they don't have a parent with them or a parent that doesn't speak very good English, it's hard to explain to them you need to exit the classroom and come back in or they just don't know how to do that during class or they think they can't do that during class. They are confused. You could always try Google Translate, but again, you don't know if that's accurate or not. And usually the student's just looking at you like this, like a deer in headlights. What is this lady trying to tell me to do? So instead of having to deal with that stress and trying to explain to the student what you want them to do, you can just kick them out of the classroom yourself. It is super easy, but do not, I repeat, do not click up here and lesson for all. That will kick you and the student out of the classroom, but then you'll have to create a whole new class, which you don't want to have to do. You can exit alone if you want to see if you exiting and re-entering helps the tech issue, sometimes it does. But for my situation, I knew that when the student exits and re-enters, she was able to see me again because it happened multiple times with the student. So for me, it was easier for me just to remove the student myself rather than having to explain to her and then she was able to re-enter. So how do you do that? All you have to do is go to the roster button, which is at the bottom. Oh, and here you can see down here, this is my student's screen, Kendall student, my iPad. So you can see what the student will see when you do this. So you go to the roster, and if you teach more than one student, you'll see all of your students listed here. And then you go to remove, and it will turn red when you hover over it. When you click on this, be very careful of what this says. Usually it's at five minutes. Now it says ban from classroom. I think it's because I already did it once. So when you click on this, you want to change this to remove from classroom once all the way to the left. The first time I did it, I didn't have my glasses on because I can't wear glasses while I teach. It hurts my head. So, and I couldn't read it and I was in a rush. I just clicked okay. And then I'm wondering, where is my student? Why is she not back in the classroom? It shouldn't take her this long. She must be having internet issues. Contacted the mom on WeChat. She says, uh, oh, teacher, it says we can't enter for five minutes. I was like, oh no, that's what that message said. So always change it. It will default to usually five minutes. Always change it all the way to the left. Remove from classroom once. That simply means they can re-enter immediately. Do not make the same mistake as me then I had to make a new classroom because I didn't want to make my student wait five minutes to re-enter. So once I click on OK, it will immediately kick the student out of the classroom. And this is what they will see. I'm assuming this will be in Chinese since all of their um, app is in Chinese for them. You have been removed from the classroom and you can re-enter. So they will know, oh, re-enter the classroom, boop. And they are back in just like they re-enter the first time. So hopefully once they exit and re-enter, whatever tech issue you were having, hopefully will be resolved. But for me, it's so much easier, especially for those really young students, it's so much easier for me just to remove them from the classroom. They might not understand why you did it, but then they could easily re-enter. It's a lot quicker than trying to explain it to them. So. If you have any questions, let me know. Bye, everyone.